Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here again, and I have downloaded the complete one sauce drill them all. This is 430 gigabytes, and I wanted to show this off. It's going to be a little slower than it was before because I had to put this on a spinning disk traditional hard drive. I didn't have a drive quite big enough to fit this. I've got a drive on the way, so I'll be able to actually run this at full speed, but it actually runs reasonably well on a, a traditional hard drive. So to start off with, there's something new you'll see here, GPU on demand and performance. This is used to put the GPU on this system into um, basically almost like an overclocking mode, it seems like, from my understanding. And some of the games that utilize the GPU run considerably better in this mode. We're going to just jump right into the system. Turn the volume up a little bit, not too high though, because my daughter is sleeping. And it took a while to download this, unzip it, get it onto a drive. And uh, I haven't had a lot of time to test it. I've tried most of the systems, but I really kind of want to just show off um, everything that's in here and uh, test out a few games. So I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time, but some things I didn't get to look at the last time. So first off, like last time, you got arcades, computers, consoles, handhelds. We'll jump into arcade first. Go into all games. There's a couple more packs I've got here. Um, you'll notice it takes a little bit longer to load in because, again, I'm running a spinning drive. That's not, that's not the pack itself. 1,891 PC games. And... If you scroll through, like the first thing you might notice is something like this. This is a, a Naomi game, which, uh, yeah, how is that running on here? Let's go back and uh, let's sort it by systems. This is a great way to demo some of the new, the new systems on here. It's nice because it's like broken up. You know, your cave shooters. You got all your Daphne games. This is all your, um, your uh, Dragon's Lair and and those type of games. These all run actually pretty well, and I'd say they run better here than they do um, running them natively. Uh, some of these I'm not familiar with so much. Galeco. Oh, that's pretty old. Okay. We're going to go to the ones that I know. Which are going to be two of them. There are... Sega Naomi games, which there's some exciting ones in here. Let's see. Border Down's a pretty cool shoot 'em up. Got a couple of Street Fighter games. Chaos Field. Crazy Taxi. This is a good one. And I'll just demonstrate this one while I'm here. I know this one runs pretty well. These messages about missing assets, you can ignore them. Um, everything runs. And I do have the FPS turned on in the corner up here. Most of these Naomi and Adam, Adam Wise games, I get about 30 frames per second in, I found. And these are running slightly lower resolution. It's not quite 640 by 480. Let's see, okay. Drive. Break. And actually, I've got a couple of copies of this game on here. There's also a Dreamcast version, like a good demo, but there's not a huge difference between them. Getting uh, 30 frames per second. Oop. Hit reverse. Uh, forward and reverse are controlled by pushing up and down on the stick. Too far. Break. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to get too deep into this. That's Crazy Taxi. We know what Crazy Taxi is. You got your dead or alive. And some of these work better than others. One that I'm uh, 
disappointed that it's not working as House of the Dead. It'll run, but there's a lot of texture problems, which I found, I think, has to do with the hardware in this machine. Um, it might be fixable. Giga Wing's pretty good. You got a couple of Guilty Gear games here. There's like a Resident Evil Gun Survivor, which was an arcade Resident Evil. And uh, I do want to figure out how to get these running using the trackball or a gun. I figured it had to do it with all the main games, these Naomi ones. I haven't figured out yet. This is a really good one. This is a kind of a 2D, 3D-ish shoot 'em up game. Vertical scrolling, all that good stuff. Rewind is your credit button, start is the start button. And pretty much all these run about 30 frames per second, which in some cases I think was what they ran in the arcade. Some of them definitely aren't quite hitting what they did in the arcade. This is a cool game where you switch colors between white and black, and like when you're black, the black bullets don't hurt you, but rather um, fill up your resources and you get bonus points and I've got this on the GameCube but it's been a very long time since I've played it. Pretty awesome game though. Yeah, I'm not very good at it. We'll keep going because there's a ton of stuff to show. Uh, let's keep looking. I don't love the artwork in here. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Yeah, that runs here natively. This is the arcade version. The Dreamcast version is also available. And again, uh, running off an SSD or a flash drive, you're going to get better loading times. Like this is probably about 10 seconds where an SSD is like two seconds. And again, this is running directly on the Legends Ultimate hardware. I'm not streaming this from a computer. This is using the one sauce. It does require um, firmware 4.15, which means you need to have a 1.0 cabinet. This will not work on the, the newer 1.1 cabinets. Don't even try. The only thing I don't love is you don't have all the characters unlocked. I have to figure out how to, how to get them. Wolverine was always my main. This is one I remember playing back in the arcade. If I can remember how to do his presenting garage. And it runs pretty good, um, 30 to 40 frames per second, like, better than I ever would have expected out of this thing, you know, a couple of months ago. Wait a second. I'm putting mashing like crazy. Alright, but you get the idea. It's definitely playable. And I have a previous video where I showed off the PlayStation 1 games. Those all run really at 60 frames per second. It's quite impressive. So there's like 127 Naomi games on here. That's pretty pretty considerable. This is actually a pretty small pack. I think this was only like 15 gigs. Spawn, I didn't even know there was a Spawn arcade game. House of the Dead 2. This unfortunately has some graphical issues I found, and I have not resolved them yet, so I'm not going to even load it up. But... Everything else I've loaded has run pretty well. And the other interesting arcade pack is Sammy Adam 
Uh, what is this? A Thomas wave? Atom wave? I don't know. Uh, that's a pretty good beat em up game. That's a pretty good kind of like um, Metal Gear, uh, Metal Slug, I should say, uh, game. I actually kind of like that. There's only 25 of these. It's a pretty good racing game. And all these games actually run quite well. So, yeah, that's all of that. That's the main new arcade games that have been added. This pack also has a ton more. Um, I'm gonna go back out of the arcade area. Just gonna quickly just show you. So under arcade, you'll now notice there are 10. I'm sorry, under computer, there are now 10. It's a uh, Armstrad CPC, Atari ST, Commodore 64, Commodore Amiga, Microsoft MS-DOS. And in this MS-DOS, it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, uh, things like, where is it? Commander Keen, all the Commander Keen games. It's a Conan game. Duke Nukem, Doom. Flashback. Gauntlet. Well, that's on arcade anyways. Heretic, Hexen. Just naming the ones I know. Jazz, Jazz, Rabbit. Yeah, all the King's Quests. They put a lot of time and effort into this. So, Prince of Persia. It's like a hundred DOS games on here. Those are the ones I'm more familiar with. Uh, Microsoft MSX. Open Board. This is really interesting. I showed it off last time, but they've added a considerable amount of new content to it. Now there's 54 different tables. It's a really ridiculous games. Like, um, you want Chrono Trigger as a beat-em-up game. It's an interesting Contra Redux. Just a ton of interesting um, kind of homemade homebrew video games. So I'm definitely going to spend some time going through some of these. They're not all as polished as, you know, a um, brand new game is going to be. Ports I showed last time. Let's jump out of computers and right into consoles. And you'll notice there's 27 systems now. Amstrad, Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, a Bailey Astrocade. Who even knows what a Bailey Astrocade is? I didn't. ColecoVision, Commodore, Commodore CDTV, Fairchild Channel F. And they've added art video for like all of these. Vectrex. This kind of sucks because I think you need the overlays to really make this work right. And I don't know that they've got those set up. I haven't really played with it much, but Magnavox. Turbo Graphics CD and 16, Nintendo 64, which of course I showed off last time. Um, a lot of these games haven't been fully tested, but a couple of them work really well. Mario Kart works well. Super Mario 64 works well. Uh, Nintendo, there's like 800 NES games. 3DO is kind of interesting. Um, this is kind of a around the time of like Neo Geo or 32X, but. There's some games in here that I kind of want to check out. Um, stuff I missed. A couple of multi-disc games. Different versions of Flashback. Hell. Just some interesting looking games. Uh, kind of, a, I think, a superior version of Night Trap. To the, to the uh, Sega CD. Super Shark. A lot of them are bad FMV games, of course. Syndicate. Yeah, so some good stuff in Panasonic. 3DO as a system. Uh, oop, I hit the start instead of the rewind button. What is this, soccer? Uh, let's back out. Alone in the Dark, Rain Dead. And uh, these games seem to run about 60 frames per second. So 3DO runs beautifully. 32X. It's a good collection of 32X games. 47 of them, and these run all beautifully. I know someone had got these running on the system uh, through the normal UCE method, but it ran so poorly it just wasn't worth it. But here you can run all these games. Man, I didn't know there was a 
was I? All right, I gotta look at this. I kind of look like a 3D X-Men. Press start to select a level. What is this? I think I'm Cable? Oh, I'm Bishop. Okay. Is this like a legit game that was out back then? I, I didn't know there was an X-Men game on. Oh, it looks so bad. This was running on the 32X. I'm kind of impressed. Like, it's horrible, but, uh, like, it's kind of that, that quasi-3D interesting. Okay. Don't get hit by the fire. I just went to a dead end. Okay, I'm going to have to come back to this. I'm totally enamored by this right now. It's horrible, but and I was getting 60 frames per second there also, so you can see those run pretty well. Oh, unreleased game. This is also cool. They give you a little bit of fact on the game. It's unreleased uh, prototype. So there's also some prototypes in here. I didn't even realize that. I'm very impressed with um, what this team has put together. Sega CD. And of course, this is where the CD-based games are where most of the space in this 430 gigs are coming from. I want to spend some time on the Sega games because I missed out on a lot of them growing up. Sega Dreamcast is probably one of the most exciting um, new releases. And look how many games there are in here. 317 Dreamcast games. Jeez, I'm crying many. Crazy Taxi here, Crazy Taxi 2. Some of these, I've got a, a 256 gigabyte SSD and I think that I can probably cut out enough to make this pack from 430 fit onto that 265 and be comfortable with it. You can hear my hard drive uh, spinning to keep up with this. This I found, Gauntlet Legends. This is the best native version that will run. Um, Nintendo 64 has some issues. PlayStation runs, but just looks terrible. This is kind of a compromise. It's not 60 frames per second, but... Um, it doesn't look as horrible. And you'll notice there's no bezel on some of these systems. Uh, I, I understood that they took off the overlays, the bezels, the shaders to get every ounce of performance um, out of this thing. Like it barely runs um, the Dreamcast games, the Naomi games. I do notice that for some reason it's squished up top too. I'm not completely sure. I went through and tried to adjust that and I could not, so I might need to play around with that. But uh, yeah, I'm getting about 18 here. When I actually got into the level, I was getting around 30. This is a game I really enjoyed back in the day. I played it on uh, the arcade a bit, but uh, I think, yeah, it was the Nintendo 64 version that I put quite a few hours into. I don't know how many times I've seen this cinematic. You are now entering the and these games definitely would run better on, a, on an SSD or a flash drive. The loading at least. Like 30 frames. Which is definitely playable. I think actually 30 is probably what it ran at back on the Dreamcast. And there are a ton of Dreamcast games here. There's like 300 or so. Uh, I'm not going to name them all, but you know, you got your big hitter, Soul Calibur, Dream, uh, Space Channel 5. And you got your Crazy Taxis, a bunch of Street Fighters. Some of these I'll definitely cut out. I don't think I need, um, you know, all of these. Tony Hawks, especially not in an arcade cabinet. A lot of these games, type of the dead. How the hell would you even play this on an arcade cabinet? Things like Resident Evil, I'm not going to sit in an arcade cabinet and play it. I'm going to play that on my on my actual hardware. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll leave the arcade style games on here so they'll fit on an SSD. Let's back out. So that was Dreamcast, Genesis, Master System, SG-1000. You got your Neo Geo AES, which was the home version. And you got the CD. Um, I'll probably cut the CD just because most of these games overlap. Except these are like 
10 times the size with better music, basically. So that might be somewhere I'll drop some. PlayStation, I showed this on my last video. Check it out if you're interested. It's like 150 games. All of them run at 60 frames per second. Super Nintendo, and then back. And then we'll jump into handhelds, show you what got added. Uh, starts off with Atari Lynx. Bandai Wonderswan. Bandai Wonderswan Color. Game & Watch. Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color. Virtual Boy. Game Gear. Neo Geo Pocket Color. This Virtual Boy, I read that they actually add the 3D filter, and if you have glasses, you can actually experience the games in 3D. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. And look how many... I just want to jump in Game Boy Advance here. There are 1,021 Game Boy Advance games. I don't even know if I'd ever play these, especially on an arcade game. Uh, but it's pretty cool that they're all here. I think this is probably close to the full uh, full release. So by my estimate, there's, there's probably 10 to 20,000 games in this pack, in this 430 gigabyte pack, all with unique art, unique graphics, unique videos. Just really, really awesome package that they put together. I wanted to show this. The previous video was when they were about halfway done releasing packs, and now they've released the whole thing. Um, yeah, so you got Naomi and uh, Atomus Wise. You got Dreamcast added. You got a ton of computers, a ton more handhelds and console systems. It's just a cool pack. Again, a word of warning. Um, in order to run this, you do need to have a 1.0 console. If you try this on a 1.1, you will break your system. Don't don't even try it. Uh, you have to downgrade your firmware. Make sure to read everything on how to do that correctly. Read all the documentation. Um, you know, read uh, the forum. There's a Facebook group, the Awesome Sauce group. If you search for it, it's pretty easy to find, and they're pretty welcoming and friendly. Um, yeah, so this is, is pretty dang awesome. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, if you want me to check out anything in particular, see how it runs, also leave a comment and I will be happy to assist you. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. 60 frames per second PlayStation, 30 frames per second on the Naomi and Dreamcast systems. Uh, pretty much anything older is going to run close to 60 frames per second. And uh, the only thing you'll lose is on the older firmware, of course, you're going to have limited online multiplayer, online leaderboard support is probably not there anymore. Um, I actually have uh, Gamer Pro coming, which I'm going to keep up to date, and I'm going to do that stuff on the Gamer Pro. And then I'm going to uh, play, um, you know, the larger amount of arcade style games on my, uh, what's the name, on my cabinet here. So I'll have the best of both worlds. This is a pretty cool game here. So again, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, uh, I've got a ton of videos on the Legend Ultimate and classic games in general. If that's your thing, check it out. I also have a pretty big amount of content on virtual reality vr is kind of a passion of mine um how do i shoot okay definitely check out some of my vr videos and i've also do a lot of previews reviews of newer games uh if you're into that check some of that out if you like it think about subscribing i would definitely appreciate it thank you have a good night everyone